So this is a battery storage facility. It's the largest battery storage facility in Canada. Energy storage allows for uh, the balancing of the grid. It allows for shifting of renewable generation from low consumption time to high consumption time. The system in Ontario is changing very, very quickly. Uh, we are integrating a lot more renewable energy on our grid. We phased out coal. So it's innovative technologies like this one that allow us to better manage the grid and better integrate all of those uh, energy types to provide better value for Ontarians. Uh, I'm very excited about this facility and so is Festival Hydro as a whole. It's, uh, it's a great advancement in the uh, energy industry in Ontario and uh, we're really excited about what it can do for the city. So there's really a lot of elements of this project and it's all pretty new. Ontario has many baseload facilities uh, as well as peaking facilities. Sometimes we don't use as much power as those building blocks are producing. That nuclear facility, instead of turning it off, uh, oftentimes we will send power to the places where people are uh, able to use it. Uh, and we will actually sometimes even pay to get rid of this power. When we use battery storage, it allows us to use much more energy at nighttime. So that energy that we might be sending out to the U.S., we can now store. And we can use it during the day and really lower um, the effect that we have on the overall system and provide a much more stable, balanced electrical flow to everybody. It should result in cheaper power over the long term. Uh, I think also a better power quality. Ontario has done a tremendous job implementing renewables to date. To take the next step, put even additional renewables on the grid, energy storage is going to facilitate that. We generate power from renewable facilities when the, uh, when the resource is available to us, when the sun is shining or when the wind is blowing. What the batteries do is they kind of act like a sponge, they soak up that renewable power and then allow us to put it back out on the grid when it's needed, instead of just when it's being generated. The more facilities we have like this, the more quickly we'll be able to transition to renewable power and phase out some of the coal and fossil fuel based power generators. With storage, you can reach a much higher renewable penetration than you can from any from uh, renewables by themselves. The batteries themselves are a lithium ion battery, no different than what you have in your cell phone. 140 kilowatt hours in one of these stacks, an average cell phone is going to have one ten thousandth of that basically. So this is kind of like ten thousand cell phone batteries all put together. You can you can imagine this as the entire system will be millions of cell phones all working in concert to move power on and off of the, the power grid. It's a, it's a game changer for us. Um, I think it allows us to be to exemplify forward thinking, um, innovation, all of the things that we uh, believe we are. Uh, it's nice to see it in practice. Stratford is really working hard to be a city of the future. We look to define ourselves as a living lab and that's what Stratford really is. This facility shows that we understand power and energy consumption needs, the need for energy storage, and that we understand where the trends and markets going. The city of Stratford is doing a lot of stuff around smart communities and smart technologies, so we see ourselves as a leader in kind of the smart front. Uh, a battery storage facility and that cutting edge technology is really just in our DNA here. We're looking to push the boundaries and try new technologies in our city, and we'll actually be a cutting edge technology that the city of Stratford will be one of the first to test in the world. The fact that the city is an innovation leader, um, in addition to the help they've provided in getting the project off the ground, has made it, one, an easy cho choice initially, and two, just an excellent place to be. Uh, the light is shining brightly on us right now, and I'm very excited about that. Three, two, uh, I think it's going to be a revolutionary change. Having said this is the largest facility in Canada and probably one of the top 10 size utilities in the world, this is going to give us a great chance to test what battery storage can do and benefit the, the citizens of Stratford and really be taken across Ontario, Canada and the world. A facility this size and at the price point that we're able to deliver it, it should send a strong signal to uh, ratepayers and utilities around the world that uh, the renewable and in particular fossil fuel less uh, energy future is here.